tracking is kind of a priority. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's ah, cool. this same. I wish I could hide a number of the soldiers and only tell certain people from the council how many soldiers there are, like different amounts each time. I believe this is you immediately coming back, so awesome. no one knows you have these soldiers here. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got Why out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? This could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the maester is safe. That's what You kind of want your medic. Yeah. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds We're like going to play this time. to the end. Let's go. I want that personification of us Hollery dead. <laughs> Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. And guess what? You actually we'll get ready. to pick when to strike your cane. Yes! <laughs> this mound of fluid dickery is going down. Yeah, this is such an empowerment moment. Oh, I know it's going to bite me, but I don't I'm care. <laughs> it's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Wonderful. Such a delicate situation, but hey, you get to call the shots this time. About time. All the peasants have realized their lord has some power now. There's a lot of skipping between scenes in this. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what the hell is going on there? You'd have tried harder for a false My lord, it's kind of bad form to speed up. I am the only lord who matters here. Oh, Roderick, <laughs> tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elaine and Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me! <laughs> I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going Whoa. on here, Griff? He's disobedient. He's a good husband. Just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. <laughs> My hand! Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not. The Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. Good. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. I've let you I am too done with the sound of dickery. Fair enough. I thought you'd want to play around a little. Nope. I'm done. What the hell is this? I am want? done. <laughs> I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Get the mace up. What are you doing? Back away. Now. That guy scares me. This is <laughs> my hall. You have no right to be here! What was that? This is now then, your hall? About humility. <laughs> Get your hands off me! My father will go straight to Roose Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your <laughs> fucking I family! You didn't consider mercy. I no, there's warn. no mercy. No mercy for mounds of fluid dickery. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. <laughs> another? Yeah, another. 
Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. That's <laughs> enough. He had two. Is that it then? We're done here. Clear out. Wait, what? <laughs> Kill him. I thought that was. We're done. Find Shoot the him. Tills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Oh, that'll do. I thought we were letting him go. This isn't over, Roderick! I thought that meant, like, kill him, because that was part of the promise? I thought that's what this whole scene was about! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I'm not sure, but I think uh, when you chose to get the Maester, that was you deciding between, you know, getting the Maester or killing them. I better hope the Maester's not the traitor. Yeah. Pretty sure he's not now, though. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One oh, she was so totally enslaved. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not what? some animal no. in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. Let's just throw I'm water on this. i see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, <laughs> He's a little drunk. Leave the poor man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal okay. with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This She's is bloody talk. important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If that she can't hold it to together, we're leaving yeah. without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by <laughs> itself? <laughs> I never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway. what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> whoa, whoa, crap. Fuck. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. You can't let him get to you. Ah, uh, I should have my hands on the keyboard. Him. Probably. You think I give two shits about what Croft had to say? Uh, Come on. Uh, Enough. Uh, you're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, she's kind of strong. Uh, oh, this was a real fight. You'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to fuck up. I did. Really? I figure it's part of their dynamic. Uh, it could be, but let the lovebirds have their tip. Wow, she is tearing you apart. So what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city? I was a slave! Here! In this fucking city! I totally city. called that. Yeah, you did. There we go. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... Sending men? He started sending other children. Oh. Yeah, step down from that. Or step up, depending how you think about I it. butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided no, my really life did. was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, oh. he was in that pit with me. Ah, it's pretty dark. Yeah. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. Well, you can't really be blamed for that. 
It did work. Most people want to live. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah, she's Thank kind of you. got some bad Little memories brother. growing up. Yeah. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Do we get a little revenge side plot going on here? Raza. Because of that man. Is he mentioned in the show at all? I don't know. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Hmm. I hope you made the right call. I think I did. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Mira. Here we go. I'll meet you inside. Alright, that's probably the most here? involved scene with I her so far. There, so Sarah. have fun! I know yeah. I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want oh. to risk it? I have to. I wish you had a choice there. Yeah. The story needs you to go there. Well, I kind right. of make her risk, but we're kind of like already best friends in this you or something. Owe me for besties. This. Besties, pretty much. BFF forever. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. How, okay, how is that going to work now? That whole idea is just throwing them in the <laughs> toilet. Just ask the guard. No, yeah, she said she was with her. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good plan. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? No. Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. I think everyone's Come celebrating because it was King Joffrey. <laughs> long may yeah, they reign. can't say it. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This uh -oh. is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Lord Big Nose. Where have you been hiding her? <laughs> You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. Ha! It's <laughs> easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too Great much respect. once and you're forever the drunken fool. I don't want to Talk how Cersei figured that out. Oh, Lord Tarwick! How? What the hell? What was right. that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, here we go. My ears are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. Oh, it. they're so gonna kick Whoa. it off. <laughs> I mean it. <clears throat> Someone caught your eye, Mira? Um, I just need a drink. I'm sorry, I... I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. <laughs> Thank you. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, there's no reason to incorporate that. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. There we go. You told me this story. Now I'm going to have to follow them, aren't I? Love Without being noticed. We danced all evening. Sort of. Wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous. All right. I 
I get the feeling I'm supposed to suspect Andros, but... You can eavesdrop. Mm. Or you can talk to them. I, Your choice. I get the feeling that eavesdropping right... What? You can eavesdrop on them as well. Why? And you can eavesdrop on the food. <laughs> but there's something else over here, wasn't there? Uh, I think I was looking over the balcony. Uh. Or not. I Why would no I want to... Why would I want to eavesdrop on the crowd? Might have been, though. Let's find out. Isn't I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Oh yeah, that's kind of important. Wasn't he Lannister? One of the oh, boy. but still. Well, surely they found who did it. No. Here we go. They haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I kept Maybe the fuck back. Yeah. Shit. Instead, no those things where you just look at it and you go, throw it away, throw it away. Uh, keep it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking, and I keep, I kept giving people shit about the envelope. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's the best part about being me. I'm a hypocrite, and I don't care. I kept the dagger too. Ah, uh, what do we got? I Talk went through it. the exact same mindset as you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, if you'll excuse me. Interesting. Uh, yeah, maybe mirror. Yeah, I get the feeling eavesdropping is with bad with these two people. Aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. Oh. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. I broke into Tyrion's study and burned it. Risky. But it worked, clearly. I must see a spy shitty and thought that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of you. surprised you did. You're so, very open with you people about your secrets. I know. Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. Are we going to go for the director? I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about? If you don't mind my asking. This can get really well, threatening. A bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. Interesting. All thanks to my <laughs> partner. The bloody imbecile. So, wait. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. Here we go. Mm -hmm. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman mm. can take my place. <laughs> <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, leave him alone. Rickard? Please excuse me. Yeah, odd name. Rickard? Is it, it, is it just a funny way of saying Richard, or...? Because I can get that. Maybe. I think it's just a new extension of Rick. Okay. Like Ned. Oh, that, that, that's going to be tough. You have things. It's just, he's a Lannister. If I just stroll up to a Lannister and say, what are you doing? As Forrester. Yeah, you might want more info first. Yeah, By I the way, it gives you a thing at the end of this saying whether or not you succeeded. So that seems to suggest you can totally not succeed in figuring out this info. I don't think I want to talk to him. But it's my only option. He's at the drinks table, though. I will take my chance. Nope. Okay. <laughs> He's in the background. I thought I had a shot. <laughs> okay. You can't eavesdrop on him when he's not talking to anyone. Yeah. Can I... He's clearly not going anywhere. Fuck it, we're gonna risk the Andros. First one went out well enough. Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. Oh, and if boy, my yes. friends have to protect me from the crown, all the better. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. I saw his head turn my way, so I got kind of worried. Alright, so he's getting protection from Lyman, from the crown. Well, I think it's more a association thing. He's yeah. dealing with a Lannister, then the Lannisters aren't going to try and get him. 
Which just doesn't make sense. I mean, the Baratheons are in charge. Yeah. All right, screw it. I'm going to risk um, it. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> Shit. All right. You startled him. Here, let me help. We'll play. That's we'll play nice Thank you, but I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Uh-oh. <laughs> I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. There's golden apples or something. So, what brings you over here? Golden apples are a thing. I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? Uh, no, nope, you already had the wine. Yeah. You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? This I, is so direct. This is more direct than I thought it was it. going to be in all honesty. Andros I just thought in confidence. I would get another dialogue choice, but no. He wouldn't okay, be I respect pleased, that. I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Lyman! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Uh -oh. What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. He's also direct. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! And totally tell wow. us. Oh, here we go. Lady Marjorie. Yeah, no, nah, there's no way I can get out of this. Yep, here we go. Lady Marjorie. Oh, I was saved. I feel like she noticed you, though. But I yeah. can't tell. It's a little unclear. Oh, crap. I guess if you've been against her the whole time, she doesn't interfere. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Lady Mira. That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Uh oh, <laughs> the flowers bit's gonna Your come up help here. Could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about here we go. Sarah? Rooms about Sarah a flower. Durwell. Yeah. Interesting name. Tell call it. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost two hundred years ago. Oh, did they? What can you tell me about her family? She's a White Walker. Something mm. isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand. I can't <laughs> Actually, Sarah's a just process. because I like the so way that info. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately Shit. the way things are. God <laughs> crap! When I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. <laughs> ah, right. I'm not sure he buys well, that. That's yeah. a relief. I was For kind. Moment, I thought. And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. That may come back to bite me. Right. <laughs> it comes Lyman back to bite Lannister. you, it comes back to bite me. Ha! Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. I thought that was just you good, mustn't yeah. repeat that, Lady Mira. <laughs> you shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment, and every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. 
Poor no, Tony. If you excuse me, I <laughs> have some arrangements to Smiling make. Smiling at that. I can use this. I can use the story of the milk of the poppy against him, but now Marjorie's here, so I know there's a timer in the background. Or at least a choice factor. I would say a choice factor. Can I legitimately just bail out? I don't know. Because she's right there next to me. She is? Okay. She's right there. Oh, over there. Yeah. Even, I just, wow, right. really? I, I didn't notice that. Oh, God, really? Um, no, that's, no, I'm not going to do it. It's way too risky. <laughs> it's way too risky. It is kind of high oh, risk. This earpiece keeps falling out of my ear. There we go. Alright. I didn't even know that was an option. Food. Alright. So, are you going to have food, or are you going to talk to Lime? There's only one. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, shit. Because if I talk to Lime, where's this Andros box? If he's gone. He's on your right, I think. Is he? Yeah, yep. he's back there. He's in full view. I can't speak to him. There's no guard here now. Can I wander out? I feel like you might be overthinking this a bit. Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. Okay. I oh, actually left the apples on the ground there. That said, it does appear that there is a loose condition to this. So, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen the loose condition, but there's a win condition. So, logically. Let's look at Mordor again. Everyone is talking about you, Lady Mira. Ha! I bet they are. Lord That's Andros not what you want. rather loud. Yeah. The look on his face. Whatever you did to make him so ha. angry, I applaud you for it. To be fair, all of sorts. I have to be going. Yeah, he kind of did it to himself. Okay. So there's nothing there. Andros is a weird liability in that he screws everyone around him. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Uh, you're probably walking to a place to eavesdrop from. But I'm going all the way over here. I don't know, sir. It is, of course, you're to invisible. You. I just ask that you think about it. Mira has proven herself to be an unreliable uh, handmaiden at best. She's backing you up, though. She's been dealing with Lord Tyrion behind my back. Mira wouldn't do anything to hurt you, Lady Marjorie. I know she cares about you. Do not make the mistake of thinking people who care about you will never betray you. Especially someone who has so much left to lose. You mean her family? You don't know what desires lurk in her heart. <laughs> well, okay. Mira wouldn't. Anyone would. Remember that. Okay, so, Marjorie clearly doesn't trust you during this whole situation. But... Okay, I'm locked to an option here. I That's all I can do now. I think so. Alright. I think it comes down to how you handle it. Fuck it. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros yeah. has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He would Let's foster some bad Andros will here. Wouldn't. He's not your friend. He's been using you. Uh, it's not even I entirely backstabbing. Him. It's he not. Because spilled you, your secret. He did spill the secret. You're so just... why not spill I'm using the truth the for yeah. my benefit. It's always better than using a lie. Yeah. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. Very critical information what? too. Jesus. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Wait, so wait, no, this is big. They don't actually have enough to march against Ironrath already. In secret. No one knows. That is true. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. Oh crap, it is... cuts off. Yeah. Okay, back out now, back out now. Bloody traitor. Okay, okay, done you for. You promised me. Then you told everyone? 
What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. <laughs> Brilliant. That's bad. Yeah, but it's mutually bad. Hmm. <laughs> well, what's he gonna do? Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> His face is so red. He didn't roar. Marjorie's attention has been attracted. I think. Get out of there. Oh, hey, Margie. Get out of there. And I got the information.